What am I thinking? Do I care? <laughs> Touche. L let, me ask, let me try to answer that question. <laughs> At Brown University, we've taken a stroke victim who is paralyzed, cannot interact with the outside world. We put a chip in the left part of the brain of a stroke victim who's paralyzed, connected to a laptop. In three or four hours, the person began to move the cursor on the laptop. The person can now answer email, do crossword puzzles, surf the web, do all sorts of things that you can do on a computer. Now think for a moment, what can you do on a computer? Everything. That's what this person can do and he's paralyzed. This is going to revolutionize care of paralyzed people, but also Think about it. Think if you're a college student studying for an exam. You can have a tiny microscopic chip implanted and you can surf the web while you're taking your final exam. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Every kid is going to want this if they have the capability of, without no anyone noticing, a microscopic chip placed in the brain that will allow them to download any movie, any website, any piece of music, any exam question just by thinking about it. Are, are you endorsing cheating? No, I didn't say anything <laughs> like that. Nowhere did I use that word. Okay. But let me also say something about <laughs> lying while we're talking about morals. Uh, okay. <laughs> Using an MRI brain scan, we can now show that when you tell a lie, your brain lights up like a Christmas tree. When you tell the truth, it's just a little feeble light bulb going off. We can tell the difference now between lies and the truth. When you tell the truth, it's effortless. When you tell a lie, you have to know the truth know the cover-up and the consequences of all the cover-ups. That means a huge part of the brain lights up when you tell a lie versus telling the truth. And this is easily picked up by MRI brain scans. In the future, we'll be able to pick up the patterns of emotions as well. And we'll be able to create a crude dictionary, a dictionary of thought. Not accurate, but enough to see the states of mind of an individual. Now, this is going to go to court this year. A man is suing his insurance company that denied him a claim. The insurance company said, you burned down your own house. The guy said, I didn't burn down my house, and I'm going to prove it by having my brain scanned in court. So already, telepathy via brain scans is going to be adjudicated by the judicial system. This is coming very fast. Our ability to yeah, read maybe thoughts. Yeah, too fast. It's coming. <laughs>